This is John with hookahjohn.com. Hey guys, John with hookahjohn.com here. Hey guys, John here. As I was saying, so we've got a DSH issue. First of all, you know DSH is my one of my favorite hookahs out there. Probably my favorite Russian hookah, but it's in the top three of all hookahs ever. Okay, one of the great models that we've had for the longest time is the DSH Heavy. Now this isn't assembled, obviously, and I want to give you some differences. There is the OG DSH Heavy, and now due to market prices of labor and stainless steel in Russia, they've changed um, to a different model. This is now the Heavy. Now what's the difference in these two? Let's go ahead and take a look physically. Okay, height. There appears to be, we'll start from the top down, the height appears to be about this much, so about an inch and a half difference in height. In addition, your bowl stem would screw, your bowl uh, port or cap would screw in, see that, versus the new one which screws on. Okay, so that's a difference, which really is a bummer because that screws up your DSH killers. We'll get to that in a bit later. Now, weight. This was 3.05 pounds, and this was 3.4 pounds. Not a ton, 0.35 pounds, over a quarter of a pound, but a lot in percentage. But I don't feel the difference, but you would assume this one's a lot heavier. It isn't. It is, it isn't. Okay, so 0.35 pounds, it's about 10%, roughly, let's say. This one would screw off, so you could do an extender. And you know we sell these extenders separately. Uh, if you want to increase some inches, this one does not screw apart at all. Okay, so there we go on that part. Now, I just want to be quick and show you the differences. Now, your purge appears to be the same. Your hub appears to be the same, except now when you go over here to your hose ports, okay, the OG, we're going to call this the OG, we're going to call this 2022. Okay, this was your hose uh, uh, connector, whereas this is plugs in okay all of this was done to save costs and they give you an extra o-ring see this does not have an o-ring on it there is an o-ring inside there and then they give you an extra o-ring all right so we got to the hose stuff now we'll go to down stems what's the difference okay so you've seen in previous videos where i like showing you this uh see how it's open there all you do is twist it to close one set and then you twist it again and now you've closed two sets uh, almost okay so that's fully closed that is open at one and that should am I doing this right that's open all four holes and there's three sets of holes they're all open so you can close one so you got two sets three sets of two holes or you can have no none and go all traditional just block them all off now with the 2022 and they're again same uh, size uh, height now you go into this there's a different scheme here the way the holes are in the diffuser but they're all blocked up so what you do is you pull it out you can pull out one set of them or you can pull out two sets of them this one actually looks interesting I haven't tried it yet but I would like to do that all right I'd like to try that one what else is different I guess that's it the trays appear to be exactly the same these are still wrapped in their plastic but they appear to be the same that protective plastic stuff so i just wanted to be quick and do that with you let's look at the bottom i did not even look at that before i was doing this video they appear to be exactly the same as far as purging um so yeah just to review uh your hose okay you got a height and a weight difference on these 3.05 3.4 3 0.35 pounds different this breaks apart this does not this is shorter okay um Host port, big deal. Not even a big deal, but I mean, just to save some money, they did that. Whereas OG 2022. Okay, is there a difference in price? I don't know. I paid the same amount for both. It's just their rising costs cost them to do or force them to do that. Now, what we have is a little bit of a difference on the website. We're going to clear it up because some people got these and we still have a bunch of these. Hey, do you know? Uh, he's going to email me that information. So that's it. Um, still a big fan of DSH. The killers, that's... None of the killers fit this right now. 
I don't know, Fabian, you think the those little sky ones fit? Hey, do you know if the sky killers fit the heavies? Okay, mm. we'll find out. I'll put it in the link. So we're going to put these on the side as OG heavies and these as 22 heavies. All right, does that make sense? I don't know why they did it. I, I get the financial uh, aspect of it, but we're still paying the same. But still, the most affordable Russian hookah that's actually made in Russia, which is um, a good thing because there's a lot of Russian hookahs out there that are not made in Russia. Not all of them. But there's a ton, I'd say more Russian hookahs are made in China than made in Russia. DSH is one of the brands that is actually made in Russia. And I know the people that do this, they are uh, uh, just very good, hardworking people and very talented and have a passion for hookah. And DSH is, like I said, one of my favorites. All right, that's it. Um, now you know the difference. <coughs> oh, you're still filming? You're still filming?